Kasim Reed says he would restore law and order if Atlantans put him back in office. Uh, he was a two-term mayor, of course, and points to positive results on crime during that time. But Fox 5's Morris Diggs asked Mr. Reed to provide specifics on how he might make the city safer going forward. Morris joins us live in Northeast Atlanta tonight with the details. Morris. Well, Kasim Reed says he would hire the best police chief in the country and reverse the decision by Mayor Bottoms to close the city jail. He says the city needs that jail. Those are just two of the changes in Mr. Reed's pitch to Atlanta voters. What's going on in Atlanta is an awful lot of foolishness, and we will not tolerate foolishness. When former Mayor Kasim Reed uses that term, he does not want criminals to think that breaking the law is some kind of game. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. When I left City Hall, our city was the safest that it's been in 40 years. We reduced crime by 33 percent. Give the veteran city and state politician his track record. But if you are looking out your window and you're seeing crime come to your neighborhood, your concerns are what's happening today. Are you afraid to go fill up at the gas station? What can a mayor and a police chief do about sliders? A mayor can, one, build the police force, activate more police protection around our gas stations, identify the gas stations that are most impacted by sliders, and shut it down. Reed would push on-duty and off-duty patrols there. Street racing was only a minor problem when Reed was mayor. He promises greater police resources here as well. Are you going to take the water boys out of the intersections? We're not going to allow anyone to sell water in our intersections in the city of Atlanta. But if a young person has to get up and go to show up at an intersection and they want a job, we are going to create an opportunity and I hope that the Atlanta City Council will support it. Reed promises to rebuild the police department in both manpower and morale. He respects the current chief, Rodney Bryant, but would have a new one. And over time, he would bring on a minimum of 750 officers. We're going to have to restore the confidence in our police department that we are behind them, but that we're going to police in a way that's consistent um, with our values. And my sense from talking to police around the city is they're completely fine with a new kind of training that understands that we're going to be more respectful and more sensitive. But the opposite side of that coin is we have to have their back and we're going to have their back. Now, one of the communities Mr. Reed is focused on is where I'm standing right now, in Buckhead. There are a number of citizens here who want to separate from Atlanta and create their own city. Mr. Reed told me that if he becomes mayor, that will not be necessary because all the citizens of Atlanta will see some early progress in the fight against crime. Reporting live from Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.